When a supervillain threatens to destroy the entire forest in an explosion, a group of animals embarks on a journey to find the only scientist who can stop this disaster. The tale commences with Gilbert and his companions successfully creating a movie device, allowing them to film a movie featuring all their animal friends. The introduction of this new technology brought joy to everyone. But Bob and Elle were critical of the movie, pointing out the lack of compelling characters. Subsequently, all the animals returned to their homes to rest for the night. Morris and his goldfish reminisced over photos with their friends before retiring as well. During the same night, a group of beavers arrived in a wooden plane and spread pink powder across the entire forest. The following day, Cupido woke up sensing that something unusual was unfolding. As explosions erupted at night, Caput alerted everyone to the danger, leading Gilbert to realize that a mysterious chemical had been spread on the nearby plants. Recalling a scientist named Albert from his youth, Gilbert remembered that in a competition, Albert had created a chemical that, if exposed to water, would cause a massive explosion, destroying the plant. Surveying the forest from above, the animals discovered that the entire area was contaminated with the same chemical, realizing that when it rained, the forest would explode within a month, destroying their habitat. Gilbert emphasized that only Albert could save them from this impending disaster, prompting them to embark on a search for the elusive scientist. Unfortunately, no one knows where Albert went because he was insulted a lot in that competition, so he left everything and went somewhere. Then Gilbert tells that Albert also has a daughter, and his daughter will help us to find her father. On the other hand, Harry had also made some new companions to fulfill his evil plan so that Gilbert and his friends could not save their forest. Harry orders Coco and Gil to do anything but do not let them reach Albert, because only Albert could save them from this trouble. Our heroes are in an air balloon because they have to go a long distance, and it is very difficult to reach such a distance in time by land. Then we see Camellia, who is Albert's daughter. She always loves adventure, due to which she is always in some dangerous place. This time, Camellia is going to the snowy cave for a totem. But when she reaches inside the cave, she sees that there is a full group of army members to secure the totem, but they all are now sleeping. So she decides to quietly leave with the totem. Here Gilbert and his companions were coming towards Camellia, but then the air in their balloon was decreasing, but still they do not take much tension because they were about to reach their destination. But then a big hole gets made in the balloon due to which they start moving forward very fast. And now they were also falling down. On another side, Camellia very quietly reaches for the totem and no one from the army even knows. But then she hears some sound and looks up. Then she observes Gilbard and his friends crash up there. Then, because of their noise, the entire army of soldiers also woke up. Now they start running toward Camellia to catch her. Then Camellia also starts escaping from there. After a long chase, Camellia got the way outside, but now after coming out, she starts fighting with them alone. And alone, she defeats the army with her fighting skills. Morris immediately fell in love with her after seeing a fight like this. Then, numerous rabbits approach Camellia, and it is revealed that they have stolen the totem from these rabbits. Camellia returns the totem to the rabbits. Our heroes then arrive at Camellia and inform her that they need to reach her father, Albert, as the entire forest will be destroyed if they don't reach him soon. But Camellia reveals that she hasn't spoken to her father in years and hasn't even met him, but she is still willing to help them. As they all set out to find Albert, snow begins to fall from the mountain and they must run to save their lives. Unfortunately, they are unable to escape the snow and crash into an ice floe. Seeing this, Coco tells Harry that their plan is successful. However, they then notice that our heroes have turned a large piece of ice into a boat and are moving forward. Despite traveling continuously at sea for several days, Gilbard and his companions have not made any progress, and their boat is starting to melt. If they don't find land soon, they could all die of hunger, as they haven't eaten anything for several days. To save his friends, Mugle jumps into the water and pushes the ice boat quickly so they can reach a land. After some time, they arrive at a desert. Here, Gilbert creates a machine that can turn seawater into drinking water, and everyone quenches their thirst and continues moving forward. 
After traveling a long distance, they come across a green place where anyone can be live. But Coco and Gil had already reached the place before them and poisoned the water, so that when our heroes drink it, they will die instantly. But little did they know that two of Gilbert's friends overheard their plan and rushed to warn the others. Meanwhile, Coco suddenly realizes that he forgot to fill his water bottle, putting him at risk of dying from thirst if they don't act quickly. They quickly come up with a plan to add an antidote to the water to save themselves. Here, as they rush to stop their friends from drinking the poisoned water, Mugel, unable to resist his thirst, ignores their warnings and drinks the water. Surprisingly, nothing happens to him, leading everyone to believe that the water is safe to drink. Relieved, they all take a much-needed rest by the water's edge, grateful for the chance to rehydrate after a long period without proper water. Camellia decides to explore the area and stumbles upon a clue left by her father, hinting at Albert's whereabouts and giving them hope of finding him. With renewed determination, our heroes set out once again on their journey, facing dangerous obstacles along the way. After weeks of traveling, they reach a bamboo forest where they encounter a fierce panda. The panda attacks Morris and kicks him away. Now that his friends are getting beaten, Mugel also goes to help him, but soon he also understood that the panda was much stronger than him. Now Morris fights with the panda in his kung fu style, manages to break a part of the panda's mouth, revealing its true nature. Actually, it's not a panda but a robot due to which a part of the panda's mouth gets broken, and they all understand that the person they are fighting with is actually a robot. Now Camellia attacks the weak point of that robot, due to which the panda gets killed. After that, Albert appears, and they come to know that Albert has created the robot so that he can protect his new house. But then Albert does not show any emotion for his daughter. Even after so many years he met her, due to which Camellia is very disappointed. Then they all reached Albert's workshop, and Camellia understood that her father did not recognize her. So she herself told him that she was his daughter. Then Albert is shocked to hear this. He remembers that many years ago, Camellia had lost her hand because of one of his inventions, and then, Albert decided to go somewhere far away. After setting fire to his workshop, he went somewhere. Camellia also understands this. Her father is very disappointed because he left her. So she forgives her father for leaving her. Then after some time, everyone tells Albert that his invention will be used to destroy their forest. Hearing this, Albert doesn't understand anything because he was sure that had completely eliminated that chemical. Gilbert tells him that now he will have to create an antidote to that chemical so that they can get rid of it. In order to save the forest, Albert says that to make the antidote, they have to find some rare ingredients. They go to a place where things are traded and the animals give their things and come to get useful items in exchange. Then Albert tells them a team of monks keeps the village safe. Then he shows them a cave inside which they will find the serum they need to make the antidote. Then, seeing the dogs guarding a cave, Gilbert turns on his projector, which distracts the dogs. Taking advantage of this opportunity, Albert and his companions go inside the cave. Now after searching for a long time, they find the serum. But then some monk guards see them and start chasing them, due to which everyone has to run away from there, after which they all come out of the cave. Then those guards also see that movie, and they all get distracted in it, which gives our heroes a good chance to escape. Then Gilbert says that now it is enough. It's time, and now it will definitely rain before they reach the forest, because it will take a lot of time for them to go back. But Albert tells them that he has made a cave which is directly connected to their forest, but through that cave, there is an island. Then they all start going to the island by boat. Then Coco and Gil come there and start taking their antidote serum, but Gilbert and Morris do not let them, so everyone else together stops them. And then they come to know that both of them have been sent by the same person who has tried to destroy their forest. Then everyone asks them the name of their leader, but they are not ready to tell. After a lot of torture, they both tell. They say that their leader's name is Harry, and he lives on the top of a mountain. Then everyone comes into that tunnel and starts going towards the forest with great speed. But then they stop due to which Albert remembers that they have not finished the tunnel yet. Everyone becomes very sad to know that. 
Then Gil secretly sends Coco so that she can give the news to their leader that now the forest cannot be saved. Harry becomes very happy upon receiving this news, because a storm is going to come to the forest very soon. Camellia is not able to see her father sad, so she starts going to see something. Morris also follows her, and Morris, full of feelings in his heart, Morris musters up the courage and tells Camellia everything. And Camellia also tells that she also loves Morris, but she too was not able to dare say this. Hearing this, Morris becomes very happy. But then due to hunger, Mugle started hitting his hand on the wall. Because of this, a large piece of the roof falls down. No one comes under it, but due to the removal of that piece, they got a direct path to the forest. Seeing this, they become very happy. Now they all quickly reach the forest and Albert also goes to Gilbert's shop. Now they all quickly reach Harry because they already know the way to his house. They all see that Harry is hypnotizing many animals and making a tent with them. Now they all ask Harry why he is doing this. Then he reveals his real purpose. He wants to eliminate the entire forest, leaving everyone homeless and then sell the tents for gold. This selfish plan makes Harry very wealthy in a short amount of time. But the others are furious when they hear about Harry's scheme, realizing that he is willing to harm innocent people and the environment for his own gain. The situation escalates as a fight breaks out between Harry's followers, who have been hypnotized by him, and the heroes. Despite their efforts, no one is able to defeat the heroes. In a desperate move, Harry unleashes his secret weapon, Arno, a monstrous giant animal. Arno is about to attack Morris, but Camellia intervenes and ends up getting hurt, breaking her wooden hand. This only serves to enrage Morris, who tries to attack Arno, but his efforts are futile. While a storm was about to come due which some blasts also started happening at some place. Now all the Beavers come back to their senses and Camellia tells them that Harry had hypnotized them and now they have to spread the antidote throughout the forest to save Forest. So all they start loading the antidote into plane, but Harry closes the gate to stop them, then Gilbert and Helia together open the gate again. Then Camellia and Morris team up to drop Arno from a great height, causing him to fall on Harry and render him unconscious. The antidote is successfully spread throughout the forest before the storm arrives, ultimately saving their home and the forest. After they become all happy, now Albert makes a new hand for Camellia. Now Camellia is alone sitting on a place. When she's sitting, Morris comes to her and asks her what she will do now. To which Camellia says that she wants to live with Morris and she also likes adventure. Morris is very happy to hear that Camellia also likes adventure. Both of them sit there together. With this, the movie ends here. So if you liked the video, then subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon and tell us in the comment section how you liked this video. Thank you.